protesters tried to topple it last week, but they were rebuffed, beaten back by riot police. But this week, they were successful. It should be said, however, that the opposition is saying that these clashes with police are provocations carried out by outside forces to discredit the opposition movement. And there are talk that this also, that this also could have been a prov provocation. Nevertheless, the Lenin statue is no more. It was in the center of Kiev, and it is now have, it's now been toppled. And uh, the tensions between the protesters, between the opposition and the government, are rising after today's protest. This was one of the largest protests we've seen uh, so far since, and also one of the largest protests since the 2004 Orange Revolution. It was mostly peaceful, but now with the toppling of the statue, things seem to be growing more tense. Well, the police presence in the center of Kiev around the protest behind me is minimal. There are some police officers out there, but they're not as uh, as present. They, they, they don't really come across them. But it should be said that around the government buildings, not far from here, uh, the presidential administration, the cabinet of ministers where the prime minister sits, and the, uh, the parliament, there is a very heavy police presence. In fact, they've set up barricades with riot police uh, behind them. Uh, ready to fend off the protesters should any, uh, any incident start.